Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. Today I wanted to talk to you about Angie's List. Just two days ago, Angie's List announced that they would be ceasing their expansion into the state of Indiana due to Indiana's Religious Freedom Restoration Act. Um, they said that they could not reconcile the views of the legislation with their own company policies, and they feared that it would hinder the advancement of the LGBT community. In essence, I am paraphrasing here, and that they would not be expanding into the state. Now, there's two things that I want to point out about this very quickly. I won't take much of your time. Um, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act, in essence, prevents people from suing companies that deny them service for religious reasons. And, you know, that's not a bad thing. Let's take an example. Let's say that you have a sign maker who is extremely pro-choice. That sign maker is asked by some pro-life individuals to make signs for a rally that they're holding to protest outside of a Planned Parenthood clinic. Do you think that the pro-choice people should be able to deny service and not make those signs which directly oppose everything that they believe in and further the cause of the protesters? I would say yes, they have every right to deny service to those people. Let's take another example. Let's say there's a Muslim that owns a screen printing shop. There are a couple of people who want to get a batch of t-shirts printed that have a variety of cartoons on them. One of them happens to be a joke about Allah or Muhammad. The Muslims turn them down because their religion, Islam, specifically prohibits any um, disrespect towards Allah or the Prophet Muhammad. So that would be a mortal sin on their part if they were to print those t-shirts. So they're going to deny service. And you know what? I completely agree with that. There is nothing wrong with that. And in the same vein, if a Christian denies service to a homosexual couple over a wedding cake that they don't want to make, they have every bit of a right to deny that service and there's nothing really else to say about it to argue against that is to say that you know what everybody else has the freedom to do what they want to do but in this specific instance you have no freedom to speak out against these people and <laughs> in my mind that's pretty ridiculous essentially the people who are promoting this viewpoint are boiling down the entire religious and ideological freedom issue into an issue about gay rights which is not really what it's about it is about the freedom to have your own opinion and the problem with everyone being free to have their own opinion is that other people are going to have opinions that you don't like and unfortunately you're just going to have to get over that and if they deny you service well then you go to someone else and you give that other person your business and if they deny service to too many people then they go out of business justice is served if they are just ridiculous bigots in some way or another so anyway that is my viewpoint on that but one thing that I did want to <laughs> I did want to say and this struck me just on the way home as I was thinking about this it's it is delicious irony that Angie's List is doing this and I am all for Angie's List not proceeding into Indiana if that is their point of view if they believe that strongly that it will hinder the LGBT community then by all means it is well within their rights to exercise their essentially denial of service they are not going to provide service in a state that they don't agree with and it's ironic to me that Indiana passes a law which protects people who deny service to customers because of their belief system and Angie's List denies service <laughs> to the state because the state is standing up for the ability of companies to deny service. And it, it's a little convoluted, there's a little circular reasoning in there, but that just struck me as such delicious irony. I find it funny. So, to wrap it up, I hope everybody keeps an open mind about this. Think before you act. Don't do an emotional knee-jerk. Think about all of the different aspects of the situation. Who's going to be looking at it from which sides and try to make a reasonable conclusion. And, above all else, laugh when ironic situations rear their ugly heads because you gotta find some enjoyment in life, otherwise you're just gonna be a depressed, sad person. Alrighty guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you will tune in for the next video. As always, thanks for watching.